high energy. <clears throat> yeah. I don't actually know how to start this video because to be honest, it's not a video I ever thought I'd be able to make. I really just have one question for all of you. How did you deal with me? <laughs> for 10 years because today 10 years ago is the first day i started youtube and uploaded my first video ever which is so random because it's an anime theme from romancing saga 3 a little cover i did and all the videos back then are, are just cringy and painful to watch also did you know that 47 percent of you aren't subscribed hit the subscribe button down below hit the notification bell come hang out we do fun metal things Ew. but it all started just from me being literally in high school and wanting to write music. I've already been playing guitar for many years at that point. And I was already just learning songs because it was fun to me. You know, I wasn't a dude that had a lot of friends or any, really. I would just go to school, go home, play video games, and play music. And I just thought YouTube might have been a cool place to actually share metal, share guitar, share the things I was doing with because I didn't have people around me to really share that stuff with. And the real OGs here No, I actually started it all on SoundCloud like 12 years ago, Jesus Christ. But especially starting YouTube, I didn't think more than maybe like two people would ever see anything I ever did. I just really want to start this off too by saying thank you to all of you for, yes, dealing with me for so long, but for even just giving hope into whatever that we do here. Because this has been such a crazy journey from, you know, doing that at the start and being the fast cover guy kind of with the water bottle and CP24 in the back, which people thought I was some crazy financial stockbroker. I'm definitely not, <laughs> okay? All the way to my first talking video four years later, which is the most awkward thing ever. I, um, I don't know how to start a video. As well as all the other videos, and people might wonder why I keep all of that stuff out if I didn't like it, because it makes me pain when I watch it. And it really is because I always wanted to have these things public for myself to go back and see the journey and where it all started. And also to show other people like, hey, I was always awful at this. <laughs> you know, I never want to unlist it or private any of those videos because it's part of the journey. It's part of how we got here, no matter how cringe, how bad almost all of those videos are. I want it to always be there so people can see, including myself, but especially from the first talking video and then going into more of a, I don't know, scripted videos with like memes and, and riff compilation based things to my first reaction ever, which Jesus Christ, I can't believe that one is probably one of the more painful videos I've ever done in terms of watching it back to starting to stream, you know, to do Doing all these other things it, it's been such a wild ride that kind of brings it in, into all these different eras of this channel which some of you have still been here from the beginning and y'all mad respect to you but also mad respect if you just started watching like last week and you're like this guy's kind of stupid and funny and likes metal stuff i like metal stuff let's go but it's been something that throughout all these years i never really knew like what I was doing <laughs> and I still don't. I never was the craziest guitarist and I never really was a guitar channel. I never was, you know, the most high quality, high budget videos, you know, or just pure out full meme skits. Like I never really had one specific thing that brought all these people to come and watch every time. And over the years, that kind of it confused me and there were so many mistakes I've made as well as, you know, stuff that I actually am like, oh, wow, that worked out. And it was so much learning and evolving as, you know, not just a YouTuber or musician, but as a, as a human being. I did not go outside for many times. There, there, not like there was crazy opportunities like, yo, Nick, let's go get lit and party. Like I didn't, I didn't have a social life. I was just a dude that was... Like, I want to do what I want to do. And if there is an opportunity to get sun, why get sun when computer right here with guitar? Make no sense. Why go outside? And so many of those videos, my God, whether it's like the heaviest riff series where I would stay up sometimes till like 7 a.m. just to make sure I got the video done in time so I can get it out for the Monday video. And even looking back at that, I can't believe, as far as I know, I never didn't upload for a week. For 10 years. Fuck. Explains a lot of how I'm just crazy and, and wild, but that whole journey took so much learning and failures and understanding to get to where things are now, where I didn't really even nowadays almost realize like, what's the purpose of this channel? Like, what what is this, 
right? Until recently, funny enough, because we started just saying this and I didn't really even realize it was the point of what we do on this channel is we just do fun metal things here. That's it. It makes so much sense. Sharing music, discovering new things, discovering random guitar things, experimenting with fun programs, experimenting with educational content even. Like we've done so much stuff and it all ties to just, hey, I wanna share cool, fun metal shit with people. And I can't believe how many of you wanted to share fun metal shit with me and watch this ridiculous content for all these years. And all the people along the way and along the journey, you know, not just you guys, but even musicians I've met, YouTubers I've met that have been there, and some of them I've known for five plus years that have shown the support. And that even if it was something as simple as like, yo, that was chill, bro. Like <laughs> commenting that under the video or like, I found you from TikTok all the way to like, yo, bro, this, this video is insane. This is awesome. Thank you so much. I learned so much or like, Hey, I wasn't feeling good today. And now I'm feeling better. Thanks for five minutes of just making me forget how life is sometimes really up all the way to, Hey, Nick, go die. It's been so, again, I keep using the same word, like wild crazy, but that's really the best way I can describe these last 10 years. When I look back on it all, I was not supposed to do this with my life. I've talked about this before. I, I was going to be an accountant. I was in school for it, but there was one moment where I was, and I think I've explained the story before too, literally in class writing polymeters. Like, and I was going to school for accounting. I was writing polymeters on, on my, my note paper. And I got called into the counselor's office and they were like, yo, so you're like failing everything. Like, why are you here? And I knew at that moment I was going to get kicked out of my program. But all I could think about was going home and covering Doomsday Architects. And that was a day that changed my whole life because it made me realize like, oh, wow, this is what I want to do with my life. And I don't know how I was going to do it. And I kept doing school, you know, and finishing my degree. It wasn't an accounting degree. It was just a business degree, but finishing something while I was figuring it out. And then I basically took like six months of like, look, I'm going to go all in. And if I don't feel like things work, if I don't feel like I, I can, you know, even just help support something or pay some kind of rent somewhere with this, then I guess this will just be a hobby and I'll go be a bookkeeper for my life. And those six months I started teaching, opened up a Patreon. I went harder on YouTube than ever. And I was able to help pay rent because the, for the first four years, five years of YouTube, I made zero dollars because I never did this to make money. I did it because I want to do fun metal shit and share that with people. You know, it took me a long time to realize that, but that was kind of, I guess, the purpose since the start, you know, and since I was able to help, you know, pay rent, do all that, I never looked back a single day. I just went harder. I didn't stop. And fast forward to now, it's, it's emotional, man. It's been crazy. I've learned so much. And I guess if I can dial that in the quickest way possible, some of the most important lessons really for me were don't be a dick to people for no reason. It's a small world. Why be a dick when instead you can make people's days maybe a little better, bring happiness, bring laughter instead of bringing anger and conflict. Why? That's, that's something that took me a while to learn, but it was very helpful all the way to, Hey, don't forget to enjoy what you're doing and be super grateful and thankful every day because shit gets hard sometimes over these past 10 years there's been, life happens and you know not a lot of stuff i sometimes avoid sharing too to people but like life hits and sometimes you question just like any musician like hey is this gonna happen like can i do this like you know you doubt yourself you're your own worst enemy and that's something i had to deal with with a lot of years and many moments in my life and you just have to go you just have to go don't stop you got to believe in the crazy thing you want to manifest and make happen and if you really love that shit and you are l actually willing to work for it harder than you think the next person would, you got to believe in it and you got to give it your all. And that with a bit of luck and an incredible, a lot of luck and an incredible, crazy, you know, fan base and people like y'all that made it so I can do this with my life. I just, again, want to say thank you for a crazy 10 years of fun metal of things. I don't know what's next. I don't know what's coming. I still have a lot of little plans for the rest of the year. Maybe in a Nick Nocturnal Awards show, maybe big music and all that. But regardless, chat, thank you. You're awesome. Fun metal things. I guess. I don't know. I, just, I already said it. So it's not like a cool clue. I don't know. Caleb, make it. it boom. <laughs> Wild. Ah, I don't know. Subscribe. Bye.